So I go to Vegas. I love going to Vegas. You like going to Vegas? Awesome. It's always so many expensive hotels there. They always got these bathroom attendants. You know what I mean? You feel guilty, you gotta tip them. Feel, I felt guilty. Last week, I had diarrhea. Cost me 38 bucks. <laughs> I love Las Vegas because in parts of Las Vegas, prostitution is legal. I made so much money when I was there. Give me a hand, yes. Oh my God, it's legal. You know what that means? Those hookers have to pay taxes. What's that day like at the accountant? <laughs> okay, how do I list candy panties under food or clothing? Uh, since they shot my pimp, can I file as an independent contractor? <laughs> can she get laid off? You're good like that. I like that about you. So I watch those television shows. I like those, the, uh, the haunted stuff. Do you guys watch that? I love that. Oh my God, I think my house is haunted the other night. The bed was like shaking. The bed was levitating. That's the last time I leave my vibrator on. I'm telling you, fall asleep. <laughs> That's just wrong. So I just got a new car. Give me a hand, a Latina who got a loan. Thank you. I did the cash for clunkers. Traded in my ex-boyfriend. That's right. I got my dream car, the Hyundai. I'm actually realizing we women do not know how to shop for cars. I was watching the commercial, and in the commercial, they sell the car with sex to us. And I'm like, then they go and do something stupid. They give the car a dumb name, Hyundai Accent. I'm thinking, you want to sell the car to me? I'm a hot, sexy woman. Give the car a female name. We could have our own car, ladies. Are you into it? Yeah. The Ford. <laughs> no matter where you park it in a parking lot, a man can't find it. Right? There's some really angry women clapping at that like I have. I've never had a G-spot. He can't find the G-spot or the I think it's a great idea. I think that I would change how we market cars in this country, right? Every segment of the population would get to have their own car if we marketed it that way. Gay men could have their own car. The Mercedes Benz, over. <laughs> the Brokeback Mountaineer. <laughs> Lesbians could have their own car too, yes. The Volvo Volvo. <laughs> Comes with two stick shifts. <laughs> Even drug addicts like me could have a car, the Toyota LSD. <laughs> they don't actually sell you the car, they give you the key, you hallucinate the car. 